This is Kraken, our latest groundbreaking chip in the realm of extended reality. I'm Vivian, I'm a doctoral student at the Institute of Integrated Systems under Professor Luca Benini, and I want to tell you a bit about my personal story, what got me into electrical engineering. So I have always been passionate about understanding what surrounds us, but also make an impact on society and the real world with my passion of science and engineering. It always fascinated me how computers work and how I could make something run on a program or on a real tiny robot. So it really started out with Lego and now I'm working full time on uh, different applications on different platforms. For instance, Kraken. I'm Alfio Di Mauro. I'm an electrical engineer and I'm a postdoc at uh, ETH Zurich. Uh, the reason why I decided to study electrical engineering is because I'm very passionate about how the devices that we see uh, deployed around us uh, work. So I wanted to know more and I wanted to know in detail uh, how they work. An application that we have envisioned for the Kraken chip is augmented reality. Nowadays we have uh, devices that are very big and typically uh, have to use uh, very powerful uh, compute chips that consumes a lot of energy. But our vision is to actually bring the same algorithms on much smaller devices, thanks to chips like Kraken. We are able to predict the position of the pupil, for instance, seen from AR or XR glasses, which means we know where the person is looking at, which is very important if we want to interact, for instance, in a metaverse or virtual universe around us. As researchers at ETH, we obviously uh, try to stay uh, up to date with the state of the art. One of the accelerators that we have uh, implemented in our uh, system on chip is uh, heavily inspired, for example, by the way the human brain uh, does operations. We are currently working on, on a new accelerator and potentially uh, a new version of the Kraken chip that is uh, even lower power, even lower energy and with more functionality on it.